<clears throat> hey, what's up everybody? Danny here and today I want to show you how to create the ultimate workflow for your multimedia content creation strategy. Okay, so uh, one of the things that, um, you know, I, I know I struggle with is, you know, how do you create content fast on multiple platforms? So it's not even, it's not even about, you know, creating the actual piece of original content. It's about how do I create it and get it on multiple platforms or formats without investing a ton of time. And so I'm going to cover some, some, you know, really quick tips on how I do this in my workflow, but I'm also going to point out some reasons you may not want to do this, um, or, uh, some reasons that you really might want to. Okay. So first of all, um, just a little bit about me. If you're you know, new to my, uh, channel, uh, I am a career technologist, uh, approximately 15 years in, in the, the tech and, uh, leadership space, uh, for building software projects and digital projects in the corporate world. But, uh, most importantly, I have a full-time job and I'm build, uh, eBooks and courses, digital courses on my spare time. Now I don't really have much of that because I have, uh, I'm busy. I've got three uh, small boys, uh, really busy, fa uh, personal and family life in addition to a full-time job. And so how do I do that? Well, I'm, I, I have to, you know, first off allocate my time wisely, but most importantly, leverage the tools that I'm about to show you to create uh, content fast on multiple platforms. Okay. So, uh, you, this, this is perfect for you if you don't have a virtual assistant or if you have, you know, someone who's helping you, uh, part time, uh, a few hours a week to get your content up and online. So anyway, without further delay, here we go. I'm going to show you, uh, how I do this. So the first thing I do, uh, when I create a new piece of content is I create a video and I really am focusing on you, uh, YouTube a lot. So what I do is I create a YouTube video and uh, mostly tutorials on project management, um, how to build your own WordPress website and, and those kinds of topics. Um, but I go ahead and I, I publish it to YouTube. Now, once I do that, the, the normal workflow would be is that you publish it manually, then you, you have to copy the YouTube link, you go to a video, uh, you copy the YouTube uh, code for that link, like maybe you go here to this video and you copy the link up here and you'd embed that into your WordPress post and then maybe you'd add it to your project management system manually. Well. This workflow is going to automate all that using Zapier. So what I'm going to show you is this. The first thing I do, I use ScreenFlow for my, uh, for all of my recording and editing, uh, if I'm not doing a live video. And, uh, so I'll go ahead and I'll record it. And then as soon as I publish it, I'm going to publish to YouTube. As soon as I publish it to YouTube and it automatically goes to YouTube via the, the integration that ScreenFlow has with YouTube. Uh, it's going to trigger a zap. Now, what is a zap? So Zapier is a, is a awesome service that helps you automate tasks between different applications, uh, so that you can, you can automate some of your workflow, some of those manual tasks. And so I have a couple zaps here. This one here is, you know, new video in channel. So when, as soon as a new video pops up in my channel that I've published, it's going to create a task in my project management system, which is Meister task. So when I, when I look at Meister task, I've got one here for, if you look at the bottom of my screen here, um, I've got agile project management tips for digital project creators. Okay. That is the latest video that I have here on my, on my channel. Right. And that is, that showed up automatically, uh, in my task management system, uh, and is assigned to my virtual assistant so that she can start working on it. Now I didn't have to do this like manually. And some of you might say, well, well, what's the point? Why? I mean, it's just a, it just takes two seconds to do that. And the answer is, yeah, it only takes two seconds to do that, but you can see how many videos I've got here, how many, how much, how many pieces of content I've got here. And so, um, it saves you time. Uh, when you add it all up, it, it definitely matters. And, uh, so that, that's what it does. That's one step of automation. The other step of automation that I leverage in the same workflow is 
Okay, I want to uh, also get this embedded to uh, a new post on WordPress. So what does that mean? It means it takes, as soon as I publish that video, not only is it going to my, my project management system in MeisterTask, but it's also going to go to my WordPress site and become a drafted post. So I don't even have to create a manual draft. It'll go to my website and uh, I'm just going to, I'm not showing, I'm not in my back end of, uh, of my WordPress admin dashboard, but you can see like it will create one of these. This is one of the latest uh, published um, posts, but it will create a drafted post and you can see here there's a video here. So this video was embedded automatically. So as soon as I hit publish in ScreenFlow, a few things happen. First thing is, is it, it automatically goes to YouTube. Once it's in YouTube, it creates an automated uh, task in MeisterTask, as well as a drafted WordPress post with the YouTube video uh, embedded already in that draft. Okay, my, my, my virtual assistant automatically knows to look in the, the project management system uh, to go ahead and do that, to go ahead and to, to check out uh, what is in the ready column. So if I can go over to the ready column, you see here, there's a lot of stuff in here. And, uh, you know, she's got this assigned to her already, right? And then she can start working on maybe the metadata in my YouTube video or, you know, getting the, uh, making sure that the, the, the post itself, the content is there and transcribed. Um, I actually have her do my transcription, but if you really wanted to automate it, another, another step, you could even hook up a service called Rev in Zapier. And I used to do this. Uh, it's called rev.com and you can go there and what this would do is even take it a step further and take your YouTube video. If you connect it to Zapier, take your YouTube video and fully transcribe it. So you would get, uh, you know, three steps of automation there, publishing your YouTube video, uh, to your website, also creating a task in your task management application and automatically converting your video into text so that you can use that text on your blog post. Okay. Because if you have a blog post with the video in here, that's great, but then you still need sort of some sort of text to explain what the video is about. Right. So like all this stuff here, like I didn't, I didn't write any of this. Like this was, was a combination of automation and outsourcing and rightfully so I don't have the time to do this. There's no way I could do this um, on my own in the volume that I'm doing it. Now I need to stop right here because I need to tell you why that you shouldn't do this. I think it's very important and it's actually something that I'm, I'm starting to shift gears if you can, you know, and, and slow down a bit here because you can see my content schedule here. It's pretty crazy. Um, I've got, I've got tasks all over the place. I've got like each one of these cards is a blog post is a video and I've, I'm, I am a, you know, one and a half person team because and I actually have to say, I'm, I'm probably, you know, you add my virtual assistant up her time and my time, it's like the time of one person, not even a 40 hour work week. Right. And there's a lot of stuff going on in the pipeline here, but you know, why do I say this is wrong? Why do I say this? Well, I'm not necessarily wrong, but why do I say that this may not be the best approach? Because I spend so much time creating and I'm, this is being fully transparent with you. I've automated my workflow. Awesome. But what sometimes what that does is it removes the accountability when it comes to reviewing and, and ensuring that you are uh, putting together the right content in the, the right um, strategic way. And I, and I don't mean that none of this is strategic. I mean that when you automate something, you always need to go back and revisit it. In my career in technology, that's always been the case. Automation doesn't solve everything. It solves a lot of big problems, but there's, there's always going to be human factor. Well, I guess until artificial intelligence fully takes over, but <laughs> uh, I digress. I hope, I hope uh, that that doesn't happen anytime soon. But anyway, like you get the point is that, you know, you, it's good. You review and know where you stand. What is, what is working for you in your content uh, production, in your content marketing? Like I can't, I honestly can't tell you right now because I'm moving at breakneck speed and I've got like over a dozen uh, uh, posts here to review that have already been published to the site, but like there's just so much additional work to do here, right? So it identifies, 
you know, by doing this and by creating, now I'm, I'm glad and fortunate enough, I, I'm able to produce a lot of content. Most people do, have a hard time getting started. And um, this is why I'm hoping like if I share this video and, and you're watching, even still watching this through up until now, first of all, thanks and congratulations because the, you're, you're showing that you really want to, uh, you know, maximize your productivity in your content production workflow. Um, but, you know, why you're using it is very important. Think about that. Like if you start creating content and you, you, you aren't measuring your results, then you're going to not get the traction that you want or, or even see those results that you want, right? So what purpose, what business purpose does each of these things have? Like when you're just starting out, you just want to find out topics you can talk about and that you feel confident about and that you start getting into a mindset and a habit of creating content. That's the first step. The second step is, you know, actually saying, okay, well, now that I'm creating content, now I need to be more strategic about it. And I think that's kind of where I sit right now. And so I'm taking a step back to say, okay, I'm not, I mean, I'm not going to turn, I'm not going to turn a uh, Facebook live into, into a blog post all the time. Why? Because it's, it, it's just not, it's just not um, uh, productive for my time and, and my virtual assistance time. Like basically, if it's a topic that people uh, really love and, you know, I'm getting a response from, then I can, you know, dig into that deeper, but I have to be more strategic about it. And so like I have things here in the review column that are talking about, you know, Udemy courses because I build courses, um, uh, lead generation uh, using Thrive Leads. And, uh, you know, those are some things about building websites. So like I, I would really help is to just focus on, okay, Let's put together a campaign, a content campaign to say, okay, we are going to really focus and dive a little deeper into Thrive Leads and how to set it up and put together a string, a series of YouTube videos on Thrive Leads so that um, that increases my, my chances of maybe getting an affiliate sale, right? Or something like that. So it's a tie to a business um, outcome or objective, right? Without that, then you're just kind of throwing up content and seeing what sticks. And again, guilty as charged, um, but it's this self-awareness and, and retrospective that you have to build into your business, into your, 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 your workflow in order to improve. Okay. So some people might see this and be like, man, that's nuts. You're crazy. You got way too much stuff on the board. And I would agree. <laughs> but at the same time, then you have something to look at and say, okay, well, what, how can I improve this? Like I shouldn't have, um, this many, this many cards, uh, in progress, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven posts in progress right now. Like there's no way I shouldn't have that. Cause even if I finished all these and hit publish now, how do I market them all at the same time? So even though I might, I have, you know, you can hook these up to social media marketing and automation tools. Um, you really need to make sure that your, your content strategy, even in the posts, have the right linking, backlinking, or, you know, linking to other sources and, you know, really are of top quality before you go on and you, you really publish it to multiple platforms. Because here's the thing, if you have a post and there's no links to other sites or no links to your affiliate, affiliate um, products or opportunities, then you're just, you're just sharing content and, you know, you could have a, a hundred thousand people watch or, or, or go onto your website and click on your website, but then there's no call to action. And there's no business value tied and objective that you're trying to achieve for that, that content piece of marketing, right? So, that, you know, hopefully that makes sense. But, um, but anyway, video has gone long enough. This was really the entire workflow of how I create a piece of content and how I see it through multimedia channels to get on my blog, to get on my, my YouTube channel. And, uh, in the past, I've even done it with, um, taking that content and putting it on a podcast. Now, I don't have a podcast right now, but maybe in the, again in the future. But you can see this really powerful to create things fast. So if you're struggling to get get started with content creation, highly recommend you you take advantage of a workflow like this um, just to get into the habit of building um, or creating content. Uh, make that making that a routine habit. Again, you don't even have to be a writer. You can just sit in front of a camera, record it, upload to YouTube, and let automation take care of the rest. So anyway, I hope this video helps you, and uh, if it has, go ahead and uh, give the video a like or a thumbs up. 
And don't forget, if you're watching this on YouTube, to subscribe to the YouTube channel and ding the bell for notifications. Uh, leave a comment below. Uh, how, what, what are you using? What tools are you using for your workflow? Uh, and let me know if uh, they are working for you or what they could do better. All right. Talk to you in the next video. Have a great day.